Welcome to another edition of Home with Flossmore High School's daily newscast. This is Viking Television. And what a show we have in store for you today. Sit back, relax, and enjoy as we bring you up to date on what's happening here in Viking country. Here's what's in store for today's episode of VTV. The HF Drama Department is at it again. See how they produce a comedy that is appealing to the whole family. Could HF come up clutch in a nail-biter with their biggest rival? We've got the highlights of the game and sports. Is the nice weather here to stay? Our forecast will let you know. All that and more is coming up on today's episode of BTB. Welcome to the show, everyone. I'm Summer Owens. And I'm Layla Dyer. We're happy to be with you today. And as you saw, we have a lot to get on today's show. Let's jump right in with a look at the news. We start off with the congratulations to our debate team. Last weekend, they completed at the Stag Debate Tournament and came home with eight medals, including two first place trophies. Kevin Gibbick helped lead the Vikings with a first place finish in Varsity Lincoln Douglas. And Max Bennett's also placed first in Novice Lincoln Douglas. The team is gearing up for the postseason, which starts next week. HF junior Javiah Israel and sophomore Isaiah Cole were invited to the Museum of Science and Industry for Chicago's Black Creativity Juried Art Reception. The event is for artists whose pieces were accepted into the 2024 exhibition and is the longest running African-American art exhibition in the nation. The exhibition runs through April 21st and is free with the purchase of an MSI entry ticket. Be sure to check it out. HF's talent show packed the house last night as 14 acts got on stage to perform their best talents. The event featured dancers, rappers, musicians, and singers, and allowed the audience to vote on the winner. In the end, the duet of Nicole Cooper and Micaiah Crosby won the contest. Both singers were happy with their performance. It feels good. It feels, it feels so good knowing that people came to watch us and see us, so we just love it. If you missed the event, you can watch the entire show online at Viking Television's YouTube page. The talent didn't stop there, as the HF Drama Department concluded their latest production called One Stoplight Town. The play did have a share of difficulties as time became a big factor in producing this play. So Ankh Terror has more on the story. This past weekend, HF's stellar theater department outdid themselves once again hosting their second fall play named One Stoplight Town. The play showcases a small northern Vermont town and some of the colorful characters and features that you'd only get to know if you truly live there. However, the entire play wouldn't be possible without the hard work and dedication of the crew, and the process definitely came with some challenges. The theater department was very stressed on time, only having four weeks to produce this play, but play director Miss Ann Calderon thinks that's part of the catalyst for a success. These students had a very quick turnaround time for uh, to put the show up. So they ended a show on the first Monday in October, uh, and they were still, some of them were still performing a show that afternoon, and then turned around and had their first read through for this show. So in four weeks, for them to be able to put up something of this caliber, something that we are all so proud of, is remarkable, and just unheard of at the high school level, in my opinion. Part of what makes a play unique to itself is the set. And this set is truly one of a kind. Crew director Mr. Timothy Thole explains how immersed the set is to the audience. We kind of tried to really pull the audience in and get them as close to the set as possible and make it immersive. Uh, in Polly's Diner, you're able to see people coming and going, eating. Um, we have trees whose leaves are falling. We have leaves scattered. We just really wanted everyone to feel homey and really just one with the story and the town. Overall, One Stop by Town was a huge success for the HF Theater Department as I look forward to the next play named Winter Break, which will feature fresh and new faces to HS Playcast. From VTV, I'm Song Terror. I got to see the play and it was really incredible. Our plays here at HF never disappoint. They're already discussing what play they'll do in the spring, so I can't wait to see what's next for HF drama. If you're a basketball fan and you went to this weekend's tournament at Thornwood, you got a treat, that's for sure. Cam Williams is here to talk about that big game, plus all the other scores and highlights in today's sports. A 
I still can't catch my breath from the exciting finish of the Vikings vs. Thornton game. I'm Cam Williams and I'll get to that in just a moment, but let's start off by taking a look at some of the other scores and highlights from around the school. The cheerleading squad took home 8th place in the finals of the state tournament. They qualified for the state championships by taking first place at sectionals just last week. That's the highest finish our cheerleaders have had at state in over 15 years. So congratulations to the whole team. The girls basketball team pulled off the big upset as they defeated the number 10 ranked Lincoln Way East Griffins by the score of 56 to 47. The team relied on their speedy defense and only trailed early on in the game. Jada Murphy led the team with 17 points to improve the team's record to 16 and 6 on the season. The setting for the final game of the Thornwood Tournament was magical, and a packed house got to see an incredible game by two of the top teams in the state. The game started off with Morris Johnson and the Wildcats totally taking over the game. They had all the firepower in the beginning half of the game, especially the first half. It was nothing but threes raining down for the Wildcats as they just were on a tear. But then the star of the game, Homewood Flossmoor's Gianni Cobb, started breaking away, taking layups after layups, making shots. There you go there. And then Jaden Tyler with the three. And at this moment, the Vikings started to gain a lot of traction and momentum, and the crowd was heating up. And what do you know, Big Mac with the breakaway layup. It's a huge game, and things were just getting started. But the last play comes down to Gianni Cobb for the game winner. A three-point at the buzzer with one second left on the clock. Gianni Cobb led the Vikings to a buzzer beater finish. By far the most incredible game I have ever been to. The win takes the team to 16-2 on the season and propels the Vikings to the number one ranking in the state. Man, they are a lot of fun to watch this season. Keep tuning in to Viking Television to catch the scores as we continue to follow all of the Viking sports. With your scoring recap, I'm Cam Williams. Just as things are heating up on the court, so are the temperatures here in Viking country. What's up everyone, I'm Oralua Shadiko with your VTV weather outlook. It was cold last week, but we've seen a nice turnaround to start the week and you can expect more of it. Here's a look at my forecast. The rest of the week, you can expect mostly sunny skies and temperatures will get up there into the lower 40s, but it's after this weekend that temps will start to heat up as we can expect highs and the lows to mid 50s by Monday or Tuesday. I don't see winter being over just yet, but this warming trend is a nice break for early February. I'll be back again next week with another update and to let you know if Poxitani Phil, the famous groundhog, agrees with me or not. In the Weather Center, I'm Oralua Shadipo. Thanks for the weather report. Warm weather, big victories for our teams. I'm feeling a positive vibe here at HF right now. For sure. Before we wrap up, just a quick reminder that the tickets for the Turnabout Dance go on sale starting tomorrow. No long lines waiting to buy your ticket. Just go to GoFan.com and search for Home of Flossmore. Tickets are $50 a piece and will be on sale until the day of the dance. That's going to do it for us today. We'll be back tomorrow with more news, sports, and information on how to try out for a team this spring. That, plus we'll sit down with Principal Alexander to get his report card on how things went in the first semester of school. Make sure to tune in for all the fun. Until then, enjoy your day, everyone. I'm Summer Owens. And I'm Layla Dyer. For everyone here at VTV, have a great day. Be ready for the road ahead. Everyone knows that State Farm has high quality auto insurance. From scooters to motorcycles, pickup trucks to SUVs, we offer a wide variety of coverages. Call our local State Farm agent, Oscar Young, today and get a quote at 708-283-0077. Time is money, money is time. Let our local State Farm agents save you and help protect what matters most. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there.